Peter Elvich, my belief first appearance is your key to the impossible. Honestly, thank you guys for being this cool tip of the day video. It's so awesome for you guys to be here. The tip I've got for you guys is a rather, uh, it's a very, very good one. It's going to help you stay connected to your friends and family. So, um, first to start out, this is going to be Apple related. Just so you're well aware. I believe you can do this with Android, but I do not know the specifics. Basically, um, there are many different ways you can save your contacts. Personally, I use, I, well, I use iTunes. I'm getting to learn that, but, uh, but what I primarily use is iExplorer. Um, and this is a app that will let you view the files and the findings inside of your iPhone, iPod, or iPad, you know, as your contacts, your photos, your text messages, your notes, all these different things. And basically what my tip is, is not iExplorer. I'll probably do that in a future video. But the idea that I want to project to you guys is saving your contacts because I know that um, everybody has phones, right? And in this day and age, we're all leasing our phones or there's people that like to Con continuously upgrade and the problem being is that like you have to go to the store and you have to sit there and you have to wait for all your data or your contacts or whatever to be transferred over right why don't you just make it easier on yourself and every like you know certain amount of time I do I'm planning on doing mine every like three to six months and um, I'm going to be backing up all my contacts and the reason being is because I know how difficult it is you know, when you get a new phone and you don't have anybody's contacts, well, I'm what I'm doing is I'm taking my devices, connecting them to my computer, backing them up. I have the big thing of contacts in my in my computer as well as on my portable hard drive, just in case. And um, so when I need those contacts back, all I have to do is just drag them from the computer, put them on the phone, boom, I'm all done. You don't have to sit there for that whole one or two hours for them to transfer your stuff. And you, and it's more personalized and you know they're all there. You don't have like, you know, duplicates or missing contacts and all that weird stuff that can happen with data transfers. Um, and, you know, you stay connected to your friends, you keep your personal contacts, you, um, you keep your clients, you keep your, you know, everybody. I mean, it, it helps out in general. So um, that's, that's basically what I wanted to, to get to you guys is make sure to back up your contacts in some shape or form. You can do it either via iTunes or you can do it via iExplorer on your computer. Uh, I recommend that if you save your contacts um to your computer that I would recommend on having some sort of flash drive or hard drive to save them on. They're not very big. They're only a few kilobytes depending on how many contacts you have. I mean, I don't know how many people have, but some people have tons. But um, that's the tip that I wanted to get out to you guys. So if you enjoyed this, like, favorite, share the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. There's more great content coming out. I still want you to miss it. Otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to the impossible. I will see you guys in today's question of the day video at 12 p.m. Minnesota time and 2 p.m. Minnesota time for the bit about me video. So see you later.